La Femme Nikita, 1990, a French action classic with surprising depth. Let's explore the details that make this film stand out. Story and premise. A young delinquent, and Paralod, faces a life sentence or a brutal path to become a government assassin. Training and transformation. Under the harsh tutelage of Bob, Jean Hughes Anglade, Nikita sheds her old life and becomes a deadly agent. Stylish action and neon dreams. Director Luke Besson's signature style shines, balletic violence set against vibrant neon-lit backdrops, dark humor and witty dialogue. Sharp dialogue and witty banter provide moments of humor amidst the tension and violence. Beyond the action, identity crisis. La Femme Nikita delves into the psychological impact of violence and a forced identity. Nikita grapples with her humanity and seeks freedom from the system that created her. Original versus Remake Point of view. The American remake simplifies the story and Nikita's character arc. The original offers a more nuanced portrayal of her internal struggle. A look at the music. The haunting score by Eric Serra reflects Nikita's emotional turmoil and isolation. Listen closely for subtle clues embedded within the music. Symbolism and hidden meanings. The color red is used throughout, symbolizing danger, passion, and Nikita's transformation. Look for recurring bird imagery, a symbol of freedom she desperately craves. Nikita's apartment, a cage of luxury. Her luxurious apartment feels like a gilded cage, a constant reminder of her forced identity. The lack of personal belongings emphasizes her detachment from this new life. The ambiguous ending. Does the final scene suggest freedom for Nikita, or is she trapped in another cycle? The ambiguity allows viewers to draw their own conclusions critical reception, praised for its action sequences and Paralod's performance and Luke Besson's direction. Some criticize the violence and the film's portrayal of female characters. Legacy and influence. La Femme Nikita continues to inspire filmmakers and spark discussions about identity and morality. Its influence is evident in action films with strong female leads. Production and trivia. Filmed entirely on location in Paris, France. The iconic red dress Nikita wears was almost a different color altogether. Real-life inspiration. Luke Besson reportedly drew inspiration from a news story about a female assassin. The details remain unconfirmed, adding to the film's mystique. Box office success. La Femme Nikita was a commercial success, grossing over $50 million worldwide. It became a cult classic and secured Besson's reputation as a talented filmmaker deleted scenes and lost footage. Rumors swirl about deleted scenes, including a potential romance between Nikita and Marco. Whether this footage exists or not remains a mystery for fans to ponder.